in previous videos we have discussed about uh, disorders of platelet number means there is thrombocytopenia we have almost covered every cause of thrombocytopenia but in this video we will be focusing on platelet function what are the disorders which cause platelet dysfunction these are mostly inherited conditions right there are five of these conditions which we will be discussing and there is no need to uh, read more than these five because this is these are the most common causes though other forms minor rare variants are there but they not ne need not be considered first is the glanzman thrombasthenia right see gp2b3a is a very important factor which helps in platelet adhesion and aggregation if there is defect in gp2b3a there will be defect in platelet aggregation the gene involved is itg a to b or itg a3 gene let me make it a big little big right it is autosomal recessive in inheritance genes involved and their mode of inheritance important to be remembered ristrocytin aggregation is positive means the platelets they will aggregate with the help of ristrocytin but all other uh, aggregating agents like adp etc it will be negative because platelet aggregation is defective defective gp2b3a receptors flow cytometry is diagnostic surprisingly pvf is normal there is no because it is defect in platelet function no platelet number or no platelet size so pvf is normal platelet count is also normal right that is all about glanzman thrombasthenia important to remember is ristocytin test second is bernard solier syndrome it is gp1b defect it is also a receptor which is helpful in platelet aggregation so in this there will be platelet aggregation defect like that in glanzman thrombasthenia but the receptor involved is different inheritance is same autosomal recessive right gene involved is gp1b or gp9 gene in this condition even ristocytin is uh, aggregation is negative no effect of ristocytin all other aggregating agents uh, there is platelet uh, platelet aggregation is defective with all of them also ristocytin aggregation is also defective flow cytometry is diagnostic pbf will show large platelets and there is thrombocytopenia these are the two differentiating features from that of glanzmans these two these three right these three needs to be remembered these three are the differentiating factors from that of glanzmans third is the gray platelet syndrome there is absent alpha granules right absent alpha granules platelet aggregation is variable right it may aggregate may not aggregate very variable response but important to remember is there is thrombocytopenia pbf will show large platelets and there may be splenomegaly present there may be myelofibrosis present right myelofibrosis and splenomegaly may be there because of thrombocytopenia which stimulates bone marrow to produce more platelets more megakaryocytes uh because there is enhanced response to of of bone marrow to thrombocytopenia the marrow will start releasing immature platelets which are large in size into the pbf peripheral blood so pbf will show large platelets so these are the points that need to be remembered in gray platelet syndrome next is the hermansky pudlak syndrome there is defect in delta granules see granules contain many factors which are helpful in you know recruiting other platelets uh, in activating other platelets delta granule is one of them if there is defect in delta granule there will be defect in platelet aggregation platelet function so we will see no thrombocytopenia in this pvf is normal there is lack of secondary wave with adp see primary wave is of aggregation secondary wave of ag aggregation both of them must be present if there is normal platelet function 
but if there is delta granule defect the secondary wave will be absent along with that other features are albinism and pulmonary fibrosis see all these things need to be remembered because these are syndromes if it is syndrome there will be more than one defect one of them is thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia is one defect but along with that we have albinism and pulmonary fibrosis right the fifth one is shediac higashi syndrome list gene defect very famous syndrome list gene defect there is it is autosomal recessive in inheritance but important even more important in this syndrome is recurrent infections though thrombocytopenia is there uh, defective platelet function is there right i mean thrombocytopenia is not there but defective platelet function is definitely there but even more important is neutropenia giant abnormal as you uh, as urophilic granules of neutrophils these are abnormal granules so there will be uh, neutropenia if there is neutropenia there will be recurrent acute infections platelets are normal morphologically as well as in number but granule release is defective right so shediya ke gasi gene involved is list gene autosomal recessive albinism peripheral neuropathy recurrent infections recurrent infections because of neutropenia and thrombo thrombocyte i mean uh, platelet dysfunction is there because of defective granule release that is all about shediya ke gasi syndrome and that was all about platelet function dysfunctions uh, disorders of platelet function to revise the names first is glans glansman thrombasthenia second is bernard solier syndrome third is gray platelet syndrome fourth is hermansky pudlak syndrome fifth is shediac higashi syndrome right that is all about the function defects thank you thank you so much for your patient listening